Hey, what's up? Uh, we're going to do a very short video on launching Connect to an Amazon EC2 Mac instance. I've never actually had to do this. Um, some people might do it. It says it, it costs like $26, but um, I'm, I don't know. We'll see how we'll see about that. But uh, let's let's read about the, the use case here. Um, so you can run on-demand Mac OS workloads to extend flexibility, scalability, cost benefits to develop to Apple developers. Well, I'm not an Apple developer, so I guess that makes sense. So if you're doing iPhone, iPad, Mac, Apple Watch, Apple TV, Safari, anything, you can provision a Mac OS environment and have them do that. Um, so we're going to launch and connect to a Mac instance um, by allocating a dedicated host. Launching a Mac instance is a two-step process. That's probably why it costs 26 bucks. Um, 24-hour minimum allocation during this is applicable to dedicated host, not to your Mac One Metal instance. You can launch and terminate Mac One Metal. Uh, example between your Catalina Base MI and a Big Sur MI. MI. Once you allocate a Mac One dedicated host, you cannot release it until 24 hours later. The minimum lease period is 24 hours on the physical server. Once past those initial 24 hours, you can release the host anytime you want. This time period is to comply with Mac OS software licensing agreement. As with all EC2 dedicated hosts, you pay per second for the entire duration that dedicated host is allocated to your account. Instances launched or terminated on that dedicated host have no separate charge since the minimum host allocation during uh, duration for Mac One dedicated host is 24 hours. By definition, you pay for all 24 hours. Makes sense. So you're basically just making a, an instance, a Mac One uh, dedicated host EC2 instance. Um, you launch it, connect to it, and then delete it. So I might not actually make this because that sounds like a waste of $26. Um, but let's take a look at this. Let's see. Let's see the differences. So instead of launching an instance, you're going to launch a, de a dedicated host. So if I go over here. And I can see instances, spot requests. There's a section down here for dedicated hosts. So we're going to allocate a dedicated host. And we're going to name it something, right? So uh, name instance family. This is where we're going to choose. Um, let's see what they got here. Boop, boop. Um, well, I, can, I can give it a real name. Uh, Mac1. All right, so let's look for Mac1. And there it is, Mac One. All right, so I have a, a a dedicated host for Mac, an instance type. Um, oh, support multiple instance types. Check the enable box. Um, man, yeah, I don't see that. This might be out of the. Oh, uh, launch different instances. So this is grayed out. Not supported for selected instance family. So you don't need to do that. This is documentation is outdated. Instance type, choose Mac1.metal. So let's look, there's only one. It's got 12 cores and 32 gigs of memory. Uh, availability zone, I don't really care. Let's see, it just depends on which one is there. Any zone in your region, keep the remaining default, choose allocate. So that at that point, I would, yeah, see, uncheck. Now it's just uh, grayed out. At this point, you can allocate it. All it's going to do is going to do the same thing as regular instance, right? So you have a dedicated host, and then on the EC2 dashboard, you launch the instance. And when you pick the AMI, you choose a Mac AMI. And then on the instance type, you would choose the Mac 1 Metal instance. And then when you configure the host, see the host group right here? You'd actually use the dedicated host um, during this step. After that, it's pretty much the same. Storage, tags, download a key, security group, review, launch, get your key pair, and then you connect to it over SSH, either with your key or with your PEM file, whatever, and then it's the same thing. So you can save yourself 26 bucks and just know that um, doing the Mac requires a dedicated host, and that dedicated host has specific limitations, um, like Mac one has only this one instance type. Um, it's the only Mac environment I see for instance family. So um, somewhat limited, right? A little more expensive, 26 bucks for a day. That's crazy. Um, so I don't know that I would ever do this, um, but who knows? Like maybe there's a, a, a Mac instance that's not a dedicated host. Let's see if there is. So now I'm going to go off of the 
um, tutorial and let's just go look and see what's out there. All right, so let me cancel this. EC2 dashboard, launch instance. And let's go, okay, so here's my Mac. So let's say I want to do Big Sur. So I'm going to do Big Sur. And look at all of the instance families that are not available. Disabled, 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 disabled. Almost at the end of the list. Yeah, so every single instance type is disabled for this. Um, and it might not make sense if I go, can I, is Mac 1 an option? Mac 1 Metal? So let's see if I can do this without using a dedicated host. Uh, let's see, default VPC. Sure. Here, we'll just put it in my demo subnet. Auto IP, placement group, capacity. That's fine, that's fine. Um, we'll, we'll not use SSM. Uh, if I was going to put it in a host group, this is where you could put it in that dedicated host. If you want to allocate a new host, I'm assuming this is exactly the page it takes you to. Yep. And... Um, if you look here under tenancy, it says the selected instance type must be launched onto a dedicated host. To continue, choose a dedicated host that has been allocated for this instance type. So it's worth knowing for Mac, um, for your own knowledge, that uh, this is a limitation. It's something that you have to do. You pay per second with a 24-hour minimum. That 24-hour minimum is going to run you about $26. And um, that is the only way to get a Mac environment in AWS for testing if you're developing for, you know, iPhone or, you know, iPad or any of that stuff, Safari even. Um, so I don't know if that's something that's uh, useful to you, but uh, it was out there and I wanted to talk about it because it's something that we don't really talk about very often with Mac on AWS. Um, I, I use everything. I'm on a Windows computer now, but I use Mac for work. Um, so I'm kind of platform agnostic myself. Um, I even have Ubuntu workstations. So um, yeah, if you have any questions, let me know for you Mac users out there. Um, and then um, feel free to happy, uh, feel free to answer any questions. I'm happy to help. All right, take care.